Alice Mila and Daniel coming to you today on the Buddy Zone. So this is my teacher YouTube channel. Here on YouTube, I have three YouTube channels. My primary channel, Lynn Daniel, where I just talk about everything. Um, this channel, my teacher channel, and my finance channel, where I talk about budgeting and stuff like that. So go check out my channels. You all be sure to thumbs up this video if you like it. Hit that notification button so you can know when I upload new videos and subscribe. So today I just want to come and talk a little bit about like, I'm, I want to talk to the more seasoned, elder, more mature teacher. Those who have 20 plus years experience vested in this whole <laughs> teaching game, if you will. So, you know, the reason I want to talk is because some people, particularly younger people, some, not all, have a tendency to see us as antiquated, outdated, and not able to um, contribute anymore to the profession. And it's because young people just tend to be very short-sighted in their ability to um, look at scope and sequence of all that's involved with teaching, with instruction and learning. And so um, I just, I think I want to say to those of us who are older and you still want to contribute. And really, I'm just kind of talking to myself out loud in your presence on the video. Um, I am saying just do it. Just stay in the game as long as you are contributing to your community. You know, um, we all bring various gifts, skills, attributes to our jobs. And, you know, oftentimes those soft skills, those skills that are more communicative or interactive, or uh, team building, those softer skills that deal with human interaction, those tend to be overlooked and out, um, just overlooked and, and maybe even um, discredited, you know? And, but really when you are trying to build community in a school, you need to have those soft skills so that you can build your community. We teach our students in our well-managed classroom social skills. We teach them soft skills, social skills. We teach them how to get along with one another, how to accept no as an answer, how to disagree appropriately. We teach them the soft skills. And so these are skills that society does have a tendency the expectation is we need to know how to use them, but when we do, when we are soft in our approach with others, it's amazing how that soft approach can be overlooked or misread, you know? So I'm, I'm saying to us, those of us who are more mature, you know, Contribute. Do what you know to do to contribute. And for me personally, I just tend to choose to manage myself in a softer fashion. That's just my approach. And, and I recognize that um, it is not valued by everyone. You know, um, the soft approach gets pushback oftentimes from people who may not understand that that is just your disposition. That is my way of dealing and that is my way of interacting and it is my choice. You know, I have chosen to interact with others in a soft manner, but, you know, um, just know what you bring to the table know what your gifts and talents and skills are, know what it is that you want for your community, 
have a personal vision for yourself in the community and for your community at large. And, and, and um, you know, Reynolds said it the best the other day about a way to deal with negativity and different things that are not necessarily um, helpful. You know, you go directly to the source, you deal with it directly with the source. And so the source here is you. You are the source. You have to know what you bring, what you offer, what you want, so that when anybody challenges you, you don't have to defend your your choice to continue to work when you're past 50. You don't have to defend what you know, your knowledge base and your skill set. You just produce, you produce, you produce, you produce. If your productivity and what you produce, your outcome is a telltale sign, if it is you feel a good reflection of you, of your energy and your ability and, and your knowledge, then it will speak for you. If you feel that it really represents what you are, what you know and what you can do, then it will speak for you. You know, so yeah, I like having soft edges. I can have prickly edges. I can be a pineapple. I can be a bulldog. I know how to be all of those things. But um, no, I choose beyond 50 to continue to contribute. And, you know, in doing that, I choose to be soft in my approach, knowledgeable in my skill set, and uh, just very... Uh, mellow about it just very mellow i don't need a billboard do you need a billboard do you need to walk around with the um, marquee that says i can do this and i know this and i've done this no you don't need a marquee you don't need a flashing sign <laughs> to let everybody know your skill set just contribute how you can when you can as often as you can in the capacity that you're able to do. And those who appreciate you and what you offer, they will appreciate you and what you offer. And those who don't, don't give a damn about them <laughs> because they don't matter anyway. All right, you all, this is my video for today. Especially it, this video is, is for people like me who are past 50. I'm 109 though in dog years. And you are still wanting to work. You still want to teach. You still want to contribute. Do you, boo. Do you. <laughs> All right. Be blessed. Bye.